best-selling author and the host of the very funny and pointed Netflix show, Chelsea. Take a look. She got me thinking, who is this book for? And my theory is that Ivanka cut and pasted this opus together for her daddy. Because nobody on the planet needs this useless collection of gibberish more than that fat clown. <laughs> for instance, on page 109, Ivanka writes, don't leave early or take time off. Too late. <laughs> part of La Resistance, mm. along with us. <laughs> and um, I wonder, what do you think about his trip to the Middle East? Well, I mean, I'm hoping they keep him. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice if they just took him, you know, and kept yeah, him and yeah. treated him like, I don't know, they treat the women over there. I take Melania back because obviously she's, um, we're seeing now like that hand yeah. thing is great. I yeah, mean, she you can't know. stand yeah. it. What I'm curious about though is because there's only one bed on Air Force One for the president, and you know that they're not sleeping mm. together, obviously. So who gets, because the rest of the people have to sleep on the floor or in their chairs. Yeah. So where is Melania sleeping and where's Donald Trump sleeping? Right. And yet he's seen more tired than anybody. He's like got this drowsy look on his face, like where am I? Well, doesn't he? Where well, he's like, a, well, because he needs a nap because he's a toddler. He can't pay attention right. for right. that long. Right. He's so miserable. Right. I mean, it's really fun. You have to kind of, I mean, I know it's a very scary and dangerous time, but you have to just take as much enjoyment out of it as you possibly can because it is really entertaining, and it's like a great reality show every single day. Yeah. It's the craziest thing I think anybody has seen, and you were just down in Washington. <laughs> what's, the, what's the word on the street there? <laughs> what are they saying? Yeah. Um, they're pretty, like, scared. Everybody just doesn't understand what's happening, like how this happened and, like, how, how it's going to unfold. You uh -huh. know, it's the same, I think, anywhere in any big city. People yeah. are like, what, what's going to happen next? Just when you think it can't get any worse, it does. So, I mean, it, I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. Every time I think it's the end, it's not. It's, so. like, it's like a horror sci-fi movie. Yeah. You know, you just, you live in your life and suddenly, there's the monster. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's just like, oh, and your panties are wet. Because, you know, you just, for the wrong reason. For all the wrong not reasons. Not for what you're implying. You know. Yes. But I think, like, if Melania, like, I have a fantasy, like, I want Melania just to finally just come out, divorce him, and just come out. She would be an American hero. We would embrace her if she just said, listen, <laughs> this guy's disgusting, and I know all of his dirty secrets, and I'm willing to tell everybody. I think that, wasn't there a rumor that if he didn't win, they were going to get a divorce? Yeah, there that's was what a I've rumor. Heard. I mean, yeah. it's just a rumor. Don't quote me out there. Uh, but you can I heard quote that. Me. I believe that to yeah. be true. Okay. <laughs> What's this picture you took in front of the uh, White House? You oh, that was with my driver, Abdullah. Um, I like to take an immigrant to the White House and hug him whenever I'm in D.C. <laughs> take Melania. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I want to ask you about that now infamous Steve Harvey memo, the one that he sent out yes. to his staff. Well, you recently went viral because you also updated that memo for your staff. We can't show it because of some of the, the language. language. I use that a lot. I use bad, um, dirty language, and that's why I'm on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you seem to think there's something to this, right? Is there, is there something to sending a memo like that to Well, I mean, it's colleague? funny. I, first of all, he owned up to sending that, sending that memo. He didn't deny it or pretend no, he wasn't. No. So good for him, I guess, yeah. for being forthright and honest. I mean, my, I don't know how to send a memo at all to my whole staff, so that wouldn't happen in the first place. <laughs> but um, my office is boundaryless. I have no boundaries, which is the problem. It's very unprofessional. I walk around in my bra half the time getting notes. I mean, it's not like any, there are any rules or any <laughs> So do I, but yeah. it's, it, yeah. it's tragic yeah. with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, babes. Yeah, I, I keep my chest in my shirt because I have no bra and I'm tripping over everything that I'm wearing. Yeah.
in any case. Well, then, then you should keep your shirt on. I think so. I mean, that's, yeah, that's the respectful, that's the respectful that's thing right. to do, do kick for your tip, colleagues. Kick tip, kick tip. But, but you said that, that, um, that Netflix is a good place for your show. It's actually the first time Netflix has a talk show. Yeah, it. it's mm -hmm. the first global talk show. So it's fun yeah. for me because I get to travel the world. We went to England, we went to India, mm -hmm. um, Wales, we would, and we get to film everything. So wow. they allow me to just kind of do whatever I want. I've learned so much about politics in the last year, and it's been so important and fun for me to like get involved and get informed. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff we think we know at a certain age, and you mm -hmm. don't know, and it's kind of embarrassing to ask those questions. And you know, luckily I don't have a problem, act, you know, showing people that I'm a little uneducated or stupid more <laughs> so sometimes. Never, <laughs> never stupid. Never stupid. Never stupid. Sometimes rather, it's not stuff that necessarily you needed to be up on, and now that we all need to sort of re-examine everything, to, right. that's what well, that's yeah. what's happening. We're all learning, mm -hmm. baby. Never yeah. stupid. But when, you know what, well, Chelsea, I, I know your, your book, so when you go on the road and you meet guys, Mm -hmm. What do you do? I mean, uh, I use like dating apps like Tinder or really? uh, yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What if they say I know you because I've seen you on Netflix? Well, they do. I mean, that gets them there quicker usually, you know, I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I use that to my advantage. I'm fine with somebody knowing who I am. I mean, I'm, it's, it's, I mean, that's not a problem for me. I don't care about that. I mean, first you audition them, you know, in your hotel bar or whatever, but it's easy when you're traveling, <laughs> you, you know, you're in a safe place. You're not at my, you know, yeah, I'm not yeah. at my house in yeah, LA. But you don't know who they are. Well, no, I don't, but do I care? I mean, I'm just have, <laughs> you know, if you're traveling, you want to have a little fun, you want to have a little fun. Yeah. I should not they be able to have fun because I'm. No, they don't understand <laughs> idea of hit and run. They don't understand. No, I don't get it. Yeah, they don't get it. You don't, you, you no. don't either? No, not many. Oh, no. Well, a, but, 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 we don't look, care for that. It's okay. It's, yeah, it's well, okay. then you're it's lost. Fine. But I'm mean, learning. Yeah. I, I'm learning. Yeah. yeah. Are you yeah. single? No, no. I'm married, but, okay. but this show has opened you know, up my eyes you know to many different things. You know what they say, monotony is monotonous, but it's safe. Yeah. Yeah, they do well, say that. Well, for some people, it's safe. It's, it's not safe. always safe for folks. Monogamy, you know, it's like everything. Not everything well, that we know. Well, generally speaking. Well, sometimes, I mean, yeah. But, yeah. you know, if you're, if you're not married and you not want somebody living in your house, going in your bathroom, sometimes it's a hit and run and see you later. Good Copy to that. have you come back. Yes, yes. I, I, I tapped in. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. But you, you, you are... Um, you know, you're, you're someone who, who's very comfortable. Um, you post a lot of nude that, I was going through photos. a phase. I was going through a phase. I was just I kind mean, of getting comfortable with my boobies. And I mean, then I just... Great. Well, but, oh, thank you. Oh, but I do look how, good there. How That's good. Uh, what, like compelled you to, ago. <laughs> what compelled you to do that? I don't know. I'm just... I think... Because I, I think when the Kardashians and those people post these, like, sexual photos all the time, I just think it's so silly. So when I... I'm not trying to be sexy. I'm trying to show how ridiculous it is to be... To look like... But you to, look good. Yeah, but that's not the point. The point is that it's stupid to take photos like that and post them. Yeah. And, like, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be sexy, So you're obviously. worried it'll come back to haunt you someday. Well, it just like, did. What, right <laughs> Thank you very much for coming over, Chelsea. We love having Thanks, you. Guys. And you can catch new episodes of Chelsea Friday Nights on the great Netflix. We'll be right back. I love Netflix.